so you can watch without your friends. All right. In this example, ladies and gentlemen, all I was asking you to do is this example was to simply graph. So you're asked to graph the function as well as its inverse. So I was hoping with every single student that they would have seen a table and said, all right, well, if that's asking us to graph, I'm pretty sure I can plot the points, right? Because when you first learn how to graph, you had a y-axis and an x-axis. And really, all the y and the x-axis are, are number lines. X number line, you're going to the right is positive. To the left is negative. Y going up is positive. Y going down is negative, right? So you, we, let's all just go ahead and start plotting the points. So you have 0, negative 3. You have 1, negative 1. Um, you have 2, comma 0. And you have 3, negative 2. 1, 2, 3. Negative 2. OK? So that's what that graph looks like. Now, it might be easier to connect them if you want to. But all we had to do for the inverse, if you guys remember, when we were talking about graphing, the inverse is just the x and the y coordinates flipped. All we did was flip them. So now it's negative 3, 0. Now it's negative 1, 1. Now it's 0, comma 2. And now it's negative 2, 3. Do you guys see what I did to find the inverse? You just swap the x and the y. Because remember when, we were, remember when we were doing the equations? What was the second step? After you replace f of x with y, what do you do next? Swap the x and the y. Do you guys remember writing down my notes? Right? That's all you're doing. It's the same thing. You're just swapping the x and the y. And we also talked about that when we looked at the graph. I showed you once you have a reflection of the y equals x line, the inverses is just a swap of the x and y variables. So now let's go and plot what these look like. So I'll do negative 3, 0. 1, 2, 3, 0. I have negative 1, 1. I have 0, 2. And I have negative 2, 3. 1, 2, up 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now you guys can connect these if you wanted to just to kind of see how they relate. And hopefully you guys remember that I know my graph's not the best, but if you guys remember from last class period, the function and its inverse are reflections about the y equals x line. Does this look like it's a reflection about the y equals x line? Yes. yes. Right? So remember, when if you're tasked with graphing a function and its inverse, and you're having trouble doing the reflections like we did last class period, the best and easiest thing to do is to find the coordinate points and just swap them. And you can quickly graph. OK? Amazing. OK. 